Drama unfolds, Seth's sneaky move, Phyllis's bold tactics, and Amanda's unexpected rivalry. In the latest Young and the Restless spoilers, Christine faces heartbreak as Danny drops bombshell news of his upcoming tour, leaving her reeling and questioning their future. Meanwhile, Phyllis stirs up a storm with a provocative dinner plan for Danny, potentially pushing him further away from Christine's grasp. But that's not all, Seth shakes things up by turning the tables on Jordan, setting the stage for an explosive showdown. As tensions rise at Chancellor Winters, Amanda finds herself locked in a power struggle with a formidable new foe, Mamie Johnson. And with Summer and Chance heating up, and Victor plotting his next move, the drama in Genoa City reaches fever pitch. Don't miss a moment of the action-packed week ahead on YNR. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Seth turns the tables, Phyllis's perfect storm, Amanda's new foe. The young and the restless spoilers for Monday, March 4th, reveal that Christine Blair will get blindsided by some huge news. Danny Romilotti will admit that he set some new dates and plans to go back out on tour, so that'll hit Christine hard. Christine was hoping to back off and make Danny realize she was worth fighting for, but she'll have to shift her strategy now. We'll see Christine try to nudge the process along as she questions Danny about whether he's truly giving up on them as a couple. Of course, there's some other news that's sure to set Christine off. Phyllis Summers wants a goodbye dinner that involves Danny cooking his special sauce for her, so Christine will inevitably get updates on all that. If Christine blows up at Danny, it could push him further in Phyllis's direction and add to this perfect storm she's creating. Will Phyllis convince Danny to surrender to his deepest desires and take her to bed after dinner? Time will tell, but Phyllis will certainly hope that they can end the night on a steamy note. Until then, Phyllis will make all the arrangements and put the pieces in place for a night to remember. It turns out Summer Newman and Chance Chancellor also have a sizzling evening coming up soon, so Summer and Phyllis's love lives may end up progressing simultaneously. Naturally, we also have to talk about Y and R's biggest storyline right now, which involves the Newman family's attempt to stop Jordan for good. Nikki Newman will be counting on Seth, will turn the tables on Jordan in the coming episodes and try to lure her in with a Nikki reunion ploy. Next, Amanda Sinclair will find some tension waiting for when she walks in the Chancellor Winter's office, where Mamie Johnson will quickly position herself as a new foe. Mamie will refuse to take orders from Jill Abbott or the attorney she's flown in, so she'll no doubt make that clear to Amanda during their first meeting. The young and the restless spoilers say Devin Hamilton Winters will get caught in the conflict that's set to play out during the week of March 4th to 8th, so stay tuned. Today's next update. Jordan and Nikki reunion, Chance and Summer's hot night alone. The Young and the Restless Spoilers preview video for the week of March 4th to 8th reveals that Summer Newman will join Chance Chancellor in a suite, where they'll apparently discuss dinner plans. However, it'll be obvious that Chance and Summer's minds are on more than just food. After Chance seductively asks what Summer thinks he's in the mood for, she'll hope it's the same thing she's in the mood for. It looks like Summer and Chance are about to hit the sheets, so that's good news for fans who have been rooting for this pairing to take their romance to the next level. At Chancellor Winters, Amanda Sinclair will walk in and greet the famous Mamie Johnson. Although Amanda will insist it's an honor to finally meet, Mamie certainly won't seem as pleased over meeting the lawyer Jill Abbott sent to handle things for her. Other YNR spoilers say Christine Blair will get updates on Danny Romilotti's decision to head back out on tour, so she'll ask if he's leaving just like that and wonder if he's really ready to give up on them. At the empty glass, Seth, Brian Gaskill, will reel Jordan in as part of a plan to help Nikki Newman. Isabel will undoubtedly spin another tale and try to manipulate Seth, but he'll be on to her after speaking with Nikki and agreeing to join forces. It'll be Seth's turn to set a trap, 
so he'll tell Jordan that they'll go outside and call Nikki together. It sounds like Seth will pretend he still buys what Isabel is selling and suggest that he can arrange for her to patch things up with Nikki after all these years. Once they're indeed outside the dive bar, Jordan will urge Seth to go on and call Nikki since she'll be looking forward to this reunion. Nikki will feel confident that she's got the advantage, but we all know how unpredictable Jordan can be. Seth and Nikki could be setting the stage for big trouble, so it'll be interesting to see if this trap ends in catastrophe. The young and the restless spoilers say the action's about to heat up in a big way, so stay tuned for all the shockers ahead. Today's next update. Good news for Victor, bad for Nikki. Plus, Phyllis has a new scheme. The young and the restless spoilers for Friday, March 1st proves why the Newmans are always on the go. They each have their own agenda. But the consequences tend to differ. All I do is win, win, win. Victor has the perfect plan to trap that Jordan woman. He will pay Michael to get Claire out of the hospital. Does she need more therapy? Who cares? Then they will take a photo of Claire with her long-lost mommy and daddy. Jordan will see it, grow incensed, and come to the Newman Ranch, where Victor will. Um, growl at her. Point his finger at her menacingly. It doesn't matter. Jordan will lose, Victor will win, and the balance of power will be restored. Nobody gets the best of Victor Newman. You got that? Tell her about it. Victor expects Nikki to get with his program. He told her to convince Victoria that Victor's plan is aces. Nikki agreed. She seemed to falter a little when she learned that Victor was willing to go ahead with his plan whether or not Claire agreed to it. And the last thing Nikki needs now is more stress. She is struggling with her sobriety as it is. Wait till she finds out that her former sponsor, Seth, is being used by Jordan. Should I stay or should I go? Phyllis never takes no for an answer. She doesn't take it when her kids tell her to stop faking her death. She doesn't take it when the law says killing people is bad. So why in the world would she take it when Danny makes it clear he isn't interested in her? He says no. She says, but what about? Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.